Hi everyone, I'm going to re-record this video. Hopefully the sound works this time. We're looking at homework 3, problems 6 through about 10. We're looking at these alternative base systems. So uh, I'm going to use the whiteboard here and write out the chip abacus. You don't really have to have the, the, the chip abacus sort of idea, but it does help us kind of keep track of the place value system. And, uh, and, and it's going to be very valuable to you with these alternative base to think of it in terms of the, the place values. So in the first question, we're looking at 422 base 5. So since we're in base 5, the, the first digit is the ones digit. The next one over that, after that is the fives digit. And the next one after that is the five squared digit. So then I can just put the number, the value of the places in there, 422. So I'll put 4 in this uh, 25 or 5 squared, and then 2 in the fives position and 2 in the ones position. So now uh, to write this out in base 10, to do the conversion from base 5 into base 10, I'm just going to write this in expanded notation, which is multiplying the number in the digit, the digit in the place value, times the value of the place value. And, you, you know, I'll usually do this from right to left, but once you have it written out in this fashion, you can do it um, from left to right. So uh, in, the, in the first position, we have 4, and then that's in the 5 squared value, the 25's position. And the next digit, we have a 2, and that's in the fives position. And the last one, we have a two, and that's in the ones position. So if I take four times 25 plus two times five, so that's 110 plus two, that's 112. And I'll enter this over here into Pearson, 112 base 10, and we go and go on to the next one. So now I have 11111 all in base two. And now I'll skip this whole chip abacus idea and I'll just write this out with the one, 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 one. And I'm leaving space so that now I can do the place values. So I'm going to start uh, from the right. And remember, this is base two. So the first one, we have two to the zero, which is one. And then two to the one, which is two. And then two squared, which is four. And then two cubed, which is going to be eight. And then the last one is 2 to the 4th, which is 16. And I'm going to add all of these up, 16 plus 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1. So that's 3, 7, 15, and 16 is 31. So we'll enter 31 over here, and we'll keep going. Okay, we got one more, 93T. So T in base 12 is going to stand for the tens digit. You want to use one character. That's why they switch over to these letters. So we'll do 9 in the 12 squared position, 3 in the 12 position, and 10 in the ones digit. So I have 9 times 12 squared. That's 144. I have 3 in the 12 position. And then I have a 10 in the ones digit. So now we're going to add these up uh, 9 times 144. It's 12, uh, 1,296 plus 36 from the 3 times 12 plus 10. And that gets us to 1342. All right, we're going to look at the next question. We're going to skip this one. This is just uh, weeks and days. I think you can do that one. Uh, here's another one. Uh, we're going to look at these. Uh, we'll open up a new whiteboard. So two in the ones in the tens digit, you know, or in the seven squared digit, plus B in the ones digit has to be 17. So so two in the second position over in the second position over, which is the sevens digit plus the B, which is in the ones position, seven to the zero power. So two times seven plus B has to add up to be 17 in base 10. And now you have this nice linear equation you could solve. This is 14, you subtract it over, you get B equals three. And for the second one, you have nine B five in base 12. So we're gonna have this nine times 12 squared 
plus b times 12 plus 5 has to add up to 1409. All right, so we're going to take 9 times 144 again. That's that 1296. Take 1296 plus the 5. So 1296 plus 5, that gets me 1301. I'm going to subtract that over from the 1409. That'll give me 108. And then I'll divide by 12 to solve for B. So 108 divided by 12 gets me 9. So B is equal to 9. We'll fill in the box. All right. I'm going to skip this one also. This is Roman numerals. You can you can uh, use the key that's up here in order to get through that. Do some uh, numerical translation. I want to do one more. So this one we're going to do the the number that follows each one of these in base ten. Uh, it, it, we're going to do the conversion in base ten. Four three one. 100183T uh, base 12. So this is really just kind of writing it out with the chip abacus again, 4 times 25 plus 3 times 5 plus 1. Uh, this problem should be very similar to number 6 that we started with, and uh, I think I'll end the video at this point. Hopefully the sound worked a little bit better than last time. I'll get it posted up, and maybe we can do one more this week on homework uh, from Chapter 4. Talk to you next time.